Welcome, gentle gamers. So, I've saved up my pennies, and I just noticed that today there is a quick draft for Zendikar Rising. Now, that is a format that I have not gotten to play a draft in before. I'm familiar with many of the cards from playing in Standard, and I'm excited that I can just play my gold right now without having to pay any money. Wow, River Guide Pathway is a heck of a card. Scion of the Swarm is one of the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, that is a life gain payoff for the white black archetype. There's also Spring Mantle Cleric for the uh, uh, black green counters archetype. I think I'm going to pick Sky into the Swarm. I mean, I love me some uh, vampires. Unless I'm seeing something else that's real good. Relic Amulet for a Wizards kind of a deck. Somehow I've got three of those. I have opened a number of packs from this set. I'm not in any hurry to pick. I'm just go research anything. I've already got four of them River Glide pa Pathways. So that would be Vault Rewards. I'm just going to go with Scion of the Swarm here. Umara Wizard. They gain flying when you cast an instant sorcery or wizard spell. Or they enter the battlefield tapped as an island. Well, Scion of the Swarm, I'm not necessarily stuck in white, but hey, look, I gain life when this critter enters the party. That's going to synergize with Scion of the Swarm. So it looks like I'm in some kind of a white-black life gain synergy kind of a deck. That's a warrior. That's more for the white-red, but... Oh, that deals with a warrior or pays off a warrior. Skyclave Plunder. Creatures in the party. Practice Tactics does damage based on creatures in the party or blood price look at top four put two in your hand that's a pretty good draw i'm gonna go with blood price i can afford to pay the blood price in a deck where i'm i'm healing lifelink if you control another cleric 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 or what have we got here tap creatures when the kite sail enters the board Oh, that's good. I like that, but I mean, I feel like I need to have the lifelink. I think I want to stay with my archetype. You and opponent draw a card, and there's a wizard for my party signature. Would I rather have the MDFC land or Lithoform Blight? Enchant land. Make you pay life. I think I'd rather do Farsight Adept, which is one of the best commons in white. Hagra Constrictor. Counters. Oh, bump for creatures in the party. I've got a lot of creatures in the party. I've got a wizard, a cleric, a few clerics, and here's a warrior. It's only plus one, plus one until end of turn, but I will have a party sub-theme. Give a creature flying. That's kind of good. Just get, straight up give a creature flying. That might be good for one of my uh, lifelink dudes, but I think I'm, I'm just going to go with another creature I like. Okay, there's that kite sail cleric again. I like that it's a cleric. I like to have lots of clerics in this because I got that one dude who has cleric synergy. Okay, Oblivion's Hunger. Gain indestructible. Oh, and draw a card if there's a counter. We do have some counter stuff. Oh, but here's a rogue. Death touch only if you control another rogue. I like having a two drop. I like having a rogue. So we got, what kind of party stuff do we have here? For each creature in your party, it's gained more life. That's the only 
Oh, and then plus one for each creature in your party. Yeah, let's do the party synergy. Maybe I'll get another expedition skulker. You never know. So here we're talking... Oh, a core warrior. Well, there's some synergy. I might not play a warrior at one. Dread Worm. Land enters your battlefield, gets indestructible. Well, that's going to happen every turn. So that's a good card in any deck. Don't need another blood price over that. Practice Tactics is a uh, party synergy, party synergy, collection pick. Snarecaster is an elf rogue with reach. You might conceivably play that in an elf deck. I'll, I'll grab that for the collection. Oh, and a Hagra Constrictor. Counters. Oh, and give creatures with counters menace. I do got a lot of counters in this deck. Oh, look, it's Omnath Locus of Creation. I don't have one of those. That would be a fun one to own. I've already got a Dreadworm. Now, this guy puts a counter. And that does go nicely with my synergies, but... Huh. I feel like I should just take Omnath for the collection, because then I never got to spend a Mythic Rare on Omnath if I want to make that deck. And it would be fun to make that deck, and it's a powerful deck. Okay, so here's the rogue that's going to give my other rogue Death Touch. Or would I rather have the Angel Heart Protector? Gain a creature indestructible and it's a cleric, or do I want this rogue? Ugh. Tap another untapped rogue you control to give it death touch. The stinger. Or do I want the protector? Already got a lot of clerics, but I do have that cleric synergy. Then again, I've also got rogue and party synergy to think about. Okay, so there's your enchantment removal cheaper with creatures in the party. Demon's Disciple makes us both sacrifice. Oh, Marauding Bright Please, so that's a cool card. I like draining life. I like gaining life, and I'm gonna be gaining life. Lull Mage is familiar. That would have been a signpost uncommon for green blue. That might be a fun deck to play. I do like me some Simic. I kind of like the idea of having a couple of blood prices in here. Core Celebrant I want over anything else here. Because that's the life gain synergy. Another rogue. And that goes good with creatures in the party. Core Blade Master, pretty cool to give warriors double strike, but I only have little warriors. Disenchant. I like Dauntless Unity. I like to buff up my whole party. I've already got two Kabira Outriders. It's nice to have a trick. McKindy Stampede. Now that's another buff up your whole party kind of a surprise card. Yeah, let's play that. Nice to have an Angel Heart Protector. I passed that up earlier. I'm glad that I um, pulled that. Elf Cleric for the collection. Lol Mage is familiar for the collection. No, I've already got one. Do I want to grab Broken Wings for the collection? Do I want... Eh, for the Vault Rewards. <laughs> Probably won't get Vault Rewards. For the Collection. For the Collection. Or do I want to throw in a, a green component here? Skyclave Shade. Counter Synergy. And it's just generally a pretty good card. I like that better than Thwart the Grave. Feed the Swarm. Very nice. Premium removal. 
Proloca Predation. An expensive discard card. Oh, but I like Acquisitions Expert for the the synergy. I did it all for the synergy. Base camp. Add mana of any color to cast all those different dudes. I mean, am I going to be throwing in green? Because I got lots of green dudes and... Ugh, life synergy, counter synergy. Ugh, or do I want a Sajiri Shelter? Nahiri's Binding. Dauntless Unity. What do I need for the collection? I've already got a base camp in my collection. So the collection pick is actually Deliberate. Might be fun for a storm deck. I think I'll get base camp and, and maybe play it. Leave me a comment if you think I should definitely play it. Another Sky into the Swarm. I guess I'll be taking out Drana's Silencer. That's just too expensive. Too far-fetched. <sighs> Mind Drain? Oh, I like that you're, you're draining life. Oh, but the, the Blight Priest is better. Because I'm hopefully gaining a lot of life. Song Mad Treachery. Nothing here is a collection pick. I guess I'll go with the uncommon. That'll get me some vault rewards. Sky Dancer, opponent mills. Yeah, I don't know if that's the kind of rogue I want. Another low mage is familiar. Do I want a Cliffhaven Sellsword? A 3 1 Warrior? Oh, no, I want another Core Celebrant. Life Gain Synergy. Banneret? Nice mana sink once uh, things get uh, late. Which one of those do I want for the collection? I want the Narwood Colony for the collection. All right, need to make a few cuts. As always, I welcome any uh, input you might have onto what cuts I should be making for this deck. So I got nine plains and eight swamp. I can go down one of those, because I've got one of those modal dual-faced lands. I think I'll take out the Dreadworm, because it doesn't suit the synergies of the deck. Everything else pretty much does. I think I'll get rid of the Hagra Constrictor. I got a lot of good three drops that better suit the synergy. And yeah, I don't necessarily need to pump up so here we go, if we got ourselves a deck. I think we got ourselves a deck here. Do I want to play base camp? I don't feel like I'm going to need the fixing that badly. I'm just playing a two-color deck here. Alrighty, well let's get going. Nice quick draft of Zendikar Rising. I'm going to double check I got my uh, microphone running. I do. And the recording is going. MTG Greybeard is neither a professional magic player nor a professional streamer, so you might see a little bit of uh, clumsiness. Ready to do a Feed the Swarm, hoping to get my Blight Priest. Oh, Stonework Patchy Beast. I never had an option for that. Oh, look, I can get the core celebrant out, and then when Bur Marauding Blight Priest comes in, let the draining begin. Oh, I should have played the Blight Priest first, because he would have... Uh, silly me. Okay, so 
Blight Priest comes in to start the draining. We've got a cleric and a cleric. Blood Price could be coming. Well, it can't block that. Got a mill. Didn't lose anything too juicy. Now, I want to feed the swarm on that Shadow Stinger, I think. Oh, changed my mind. I want to do Feed the Swarm on that Nighthawk Scavenger. And I'll lose a few life, but that's better than taking one hit from it. And I have a Stinger! I have a Stinger too. Gain, drain. Core Blade Master has double strike. You know, this was a silly play because I, I'm not going to have equipped warriors. I don't have any equipment. Well, looks like I'm going to have to pay the blood price. Do I want to mill myself out? Let's pay the blood price here. Let's see what the blood price finds me. So an expedition healer and another blood price. Let's do some healing, shall we? Now this guy will have lifelink because I control another cleric. Now this skitter whatever menace. Oh, because I have so much in my graveyard, because they've been milling the heck out of me. So I can sort of triple block you. Are you going to give this thing death touch? And we'll just see what you choose to destroy, I guess. The Stinger? Oh, no, the Celebrant. I should have blocked with all of them, I suppose. Nice, nice going. Now here's my sky into the swarm. I really wish I had just uh, not blocked there. I think I just uh, made myself lose this game. Yeah, I feel really dumb now. No. Guess I gotta kill a big guy. Who are you going to kill? Well, it would be amazing if I could turn this game around. There goes that squirrel that excites my dog so much. A lot of brown in that squirrel's paint job. It's got kind of like a brown mohawk. Stripe of brown all along its back in the middle there.
on a gray squirrel otherwise. Brown head, nifty little squirrel. Who dies? Who lives? Okay. Gonna mill me out before long. Man, and there was a life gain payoff. I shouldn't have blocked that either. Well, I still can't attack with the pack beast. Oh, I did everything wrong here. I should have just held out. I'm going to adjust my strategy in subsequent matches. I should have taken some of that damage, let my life gain synergy keep paying off. Oh, I feel, I feel so silly. I made some mistakes and I instantly saw the problem. Oh no, I got my last guy in a swarm. I'm going to just go ahead and concede this game. Oof, I might have had a fighting chance if I had just um, stalled that board, kept exploiting my life, gained synergies, grown up some big dudes, got some Skyons out. If I had just taken those attacks and gained back the life. Well, you live and learn. We'll fight another Zendikar day. I was delighted to learn that it was uh, possible to draft the older sets once they uh, once they come back around in the the quick draft, and I like the way the quick draft is only five k gems. That's like ten days of rewards if you just do your qu uh, quest every day. You again. Choose and discard a card, friend. Aeon Chi. I feel like I may have gone up against this opponent before. Well, I like the way they're losing a 3-2 uh, flying. Shall we trade? You must have a trick. We each draw a card. Can't attack. Oh, look at that. I really wish I had some of my... Uh, Who are you going to block with? You're just going to take six from that. Now, Shepherd of Heroes is going to gain me some serious life. Got a wizard, a rogue, a warrior, and a cleric. You must have some kind of trick.
So here's my 5-3 shade again. Field research. Guess I'm taking that hit. Well, my Shepherd of Heroes will gain me some life. As will my core celebrant. So I got Cleric, Warrior, Wizard, Rogue, and then I'll have everybody in the party. Let's see what they do to my shade. Oh, they got a duelist. Oh, they're making the shade weaker. They know all the tricks. Zulaport duelist. Flash. It's a flash rogue. Are they making everything unblockable here? How much life is this going to gain me? Just 10. Good game. I had my big thing and they had a counter spell already for me. Well, that's down to. At least I got to uh, pull some nifty Zendikar rares. I got Omnath. Locus of creation, is it? Omnath is a nifty... Commander for a historic brawl deck. I've got a couple of those Sky Into the Swarm for my potential vampire deck. I've got all kinds of vampires now. Now that Crimson Vow has come out, we got a couple of vampire commanders if I want to make a historic brawl deck. I've already got Edgar Markov. Leave a comment if you think he's a viable historic brawl commander. I'm not so sure. I feel like he moves pretty slow for the commander in historic brawl formats. But he is a cool vampire lord on the other hand. His lord effect impacts the, the board the minute he comes into play. And there's lots of fun stuff I can do with all these vampires in my Tasa Karlov deck. I have a kind of a vampire sub theme since... I like to build her in the life gain, life drain sort of direction. I've had some really nifty aristocrats wins with a bunch of blood artist payoffs you can watch on my channel with the Tasa Karlov deck. Keep this hand, four lands, couple of plays. The Outrider will put some uh, counters. Oh, this guy. Kite Sail Cleric for the Cleric Synergy. Core Celebrant will be gaining me some life. Or do I want to block his Death Toucher? Catch up popsicle. Never played a popsicle before. Are they in the diamond tier there. Core celebrant. And then the outrider is gonna get just cleric and warrior. So just plus one plus or just two pluses. Don't wanna block you. Now there's four damage. I'm kind of intrigued by all of this uh, party synergy stuff. I'm really glad I didn't waste feed the swarm on the wimpy elf, because now I can feed the dreadworm to the storm. The swarm, excuse me. Dauntless Unity is going to be cool. I'll be able to play that. 
Or do I want to just play it now? Just get the plus three. And then Outrider will buff up my flyer. Yeah, there's eight right there, and my flyer will be doing plenty. Get another Outrider out. Oh, I've only got two types. Maybe they'll stop attacking with Tajuru Blightblade. It was not a legendary elf rogue, even though Tajuru sounds like a first name. Welp, welp, welp. Now the Blight Priest is a cleric. I've got a warrior and a cleric. I guess I'll do the Outrider. I feel like I'm just going to mow this person down eventually, now that they're at 3 life. They're top decking it, they got to play 2 creatures to block here, to even stay alive. Oh, they got to return somebody from the grave, nice. Okay, so Angel Heart Protector is going to make one of my creatures... Oh, they scooped. Thank you, Ketchup Popsicle, for making my life easier. And my rank is up to gold tier 2 and limited once again. Keep going up and down here. Limited is such a rough format. Need to get more 7 win runs where I just don't have any losses, I suppose. That would help my score. Sunset Revelry. Not my favorite Midnight Hunt instant. Even in white. Alright, Gly. Somebody in the gold rank. Somebody more at my level. Well, I'm going to say hello. I wish I didn't draw two Kahir Kabira Outriders. That doesn't really curve me out very nicely. But I will have a Rogue and a Cleric in play. Do some pounding. Okay, so Acquisitions Expert. Thank you to discard a card you maybe don't want to discard. <sighs> Oblivion's Hunger. Oh, just a little combat trick. I'm very happy to have Sky on, of the Swarm on the way. Vampire Cleric of sorts. They get a counter every time I gain life. Oh, the Skyclave Apparition is going to exile my Blighta Priest. And I am mana shocked. What's the word? Mana screwed here. <coughs> I'll be able to gain a bunch of life with the Shepherd of Heroes. First I'll get a warrior out. And I've got a rogue and a warrior. Give this guy the boost, huh? Not gonna do it. And the Shepherd brings a cleric in. Oh, but I want the sky on first. So here I bring the sky in, and then they're going to get counters when I gain life. I can just go ahead and sustain an attack here. I learned my lesson about trying to double block, especially in Indestructible Dreadworm. I'll just have to take five. I'll just have to take um, however many of that is, seven. Or do I chump it? 
So I'm gonna play the Shepherd of Heroes. And that is gonna put counters on my Skyen. You can hear Attila's getting a little crazy here. He's a good boy. Skyclave Shade, I can play with the uh, Kicker. Oh, they knocked out one of my blockers. They knocked my blocker off. Skyclave Shade can't block. That's an unfortunate thing about the Skyclave Shade. I think I'll just jump here. I don't have too many cool party effects coming. Oh, actually, I did have a party effect coming. Oh, and I shouldn't have jumped. Oh, well. So I can do a bit of damage here. That's cool, I'll just discard the blood price. Oh no, they have creatures in the party. They chose the Stinger. Well, I've got you on a two turn clock. How many turns have you got me on? We'll just trade Outriders if you attack all. Can they do 11? They've got 8, 9, 10, 12, huh? No. Can play. Oh, the shade cannot block. Guess I'll play Blood Price and hope that I draw a two drop, huh? Oh, I drew Feed the Swarm. So I'll do Feed the Swarm on the big guy. Oh, but I'm going to lose life equal to its mana value. Well, I can block the apparition and the silencer. Kill the apparition, I'll get my dude back. Oh, somebody gets a plus. So bad I couldn't hold up mana for that practice tactics. Don't think I'm gonna win this game anymore. That was a nifty game though. I learned a lot about Zendikar Rising and I didn't spend any of my cash. Hopefully I can save up enough uh, gold and get another one of these going. Hope you enjoyed watching me get my clock cleaned here. Auto attack with Skyclave Shade. They're just going to take it.
Wait, what just happened? Did I just win? How did I just win that game? Leave me a comment if you can help me understand. Oh, because it did twice the, the number of creatures in the party to the Skyclave Apparition. Oh, I was just doing that to troll. I thought it was only going to do one damage. Well, I'm glad I did that. Talk about snatching victory from the jaws of defeat, and I get to play one more game. And you heard how dejected I was to lose that. I was trying to be philosophical about it, but I feel like this deck deserved better. What a comeback, huh? That was a good game. Now here I've actually got some curving out I can do. Oh, the Ruin Crab. I love playing that guy in my Tasha's Hideous Laughter deck. Hello. Hello, Mama. I'm going to mill a lot of cards. You got me on like a 10 turn clock with that. Well, I'm going to fill out my party here. Oh, they've got a defending squid. When a land enters the battlefield, however, they can attack as though they didn't have defender. So I'll get... Uh... Oh, they're Twiddle. The white Twiddle draw a card. I kind of feel like I want to do this Farsight Adept next. So I want to make sure I got enough draw and enough land. Mama has taken a sweet time to decide what to do with that turn. No, I guess I do have enough land. I'll, s I'll get out the Blight to Priest. And I know I've got the Skyon on the way. I'll probably just play the back side of McKinney Stampede for the... Or do I want to surprise them with a big... Let's see if I draw another land. I want to be able to cast you with the kicker, and that costs five. I drew a land. I guess I'll hold on to the stampede. So I'll play a plains. Make sure I got two of everything. Play the uh, adept. Play with your far sight and everything. We each draw a card. Oh, cool, and I'll have the core celebrant start doing some draining. Get busy living or get busy draining, I always say. I guess I'll cast the Skyclave Shade without the kicker. So the Blight Priest, man, is going to do some draining. Hopefully it'll be enough. Now the squid can attack. Relic amulet, that's for instance in sorceries. All right, so core celebrant first. Gain a life, drain a life. And then, yeah, I will play the shade without the kicker. Gain a life, drain a life, go wide. Then I'll play the sky and gain a life, drain a life, put a counter. And so I'll just wait to attack, because I'm, I'm going to be playing that Stampede in a couple of turns. We'll see how wide I can get. Now they've got a nifty Umara Skyfalls. They played that instead of the Wizard, but I held on to my McKinney Stampede. I'm going to need to do something pretty quick, because they're about to mill me out. I'm on a four-turn clock with that mill. Ooh, yeah, the Kabiri Outrider. 
gain another life before I swing out for my big thing? Or do I swing out for the big thing next turn? Leave a comment if you think I should swing this turn. Should I swing the turn that I played the sky in? Skyclave Shade can't block. I'll attack with those two. Oh no! So much for my sky into the swarm. I don't think I knew the Relic Amulet worked quite that way. I should have read that more carefully. Well... They got some trick they can use to kill my dude with their ruin crab. That'd be a bummer. So they'll take four damage this attack. Roiling. Here I am roiling. I'll be able to gain life again. Marauding Blight Priest is double fist in it with the red flamey magic stuff. Ruin Crab has got me down to seven. I need to poop or get off the pot here. So if I play the priest, I won't be able to do the stampede. So why don't I attack? Oh no, the sorcery, the stampede's a sorcery, ah! I feel so dumb. I keep doing that. I keep rushing to attack. If they mill me out, I will not be happy. See, I could have killed the ruined crab this turn. Nice. Well, I guess I'll cast the Marauder. I'll cast the shade. I don't think I can cast the Outrider and the Stampede in the same turn. Down to three. I need to kill that thing. And they have to block. Those who gain versus those who drain. I gotta block and sack the ruin crab or die. So they can't mill me out. Hopefully I can knock them down to zero life. Oh, target creature you control gains protection of the color of your choice. If they can just land a fall, 
they win because I've only got two cards. Nice. Good to game. Oh, what a bummer. I'm eliminated in a game I might have won. I feel like I just played that wrong. Leave me a comment if you can tell me how I might have played it better. A little bit more aggressively to do that last four damage before I got milled out. I should have done that stampede earlier. Maybe knocked out the ruined crab. Well, super fun game. Super interesting. I'm not going to get the rewards I wanted, but I will get to trade some gold for gems with my two wins. And stick around while I crack a pack of Zendikar Rising. Oh, I didn't have Cliff Clavin, the Cell Sword. That's a reference to the 1980s sitcom Cheers. Oh, and Valakut Exploration, a landfall card. I can play that in my landfall historic brawl deck whenever a land enters the battlefield. Exile the top card. You can play it. And step, put it in your graveyard and deal damage. Well, that's cool. That's one that I didn't want to burn a rare on, but will love to play in my landfall deck. Thanks again for watching.